So this gets into question a lot when you think your dog is not matted. And I tell everybody to use a comb. I'm just hoping this will help a little bit. When you have a comb, after you brush your dog, like go use one, a brush like this, and you think it's going through and you think you're brushing them, and it looks like you are, I mean, it looks like you are, you know, if you look at this compared to like his leg area, it looks like you're brushing them. But this is why I always say to take a metal comb because if you take a metal comb, it's getting stuck. Like it's not, it's not going through here. This is all matted. And the problem when I say that um, I have to take your dog short is I have to be able to get this blade between the dog's coat and the skin. So right now, if I go to leave this dog long, I'm going to use one of my longer blades. It's not going through his coat right now. I know it's kind of hard to see. Hold on. It's not, it's not going through. See, it's not going through. So I have to go shorter. This is shorter. And now it's going through. And it's not even going through everything, but it is going through. This is what I say when you guys are brushing your dog to definitely use that slicker brush, which looks like this, but also use a metal comb. If I get the hair off of it. Use a metal comb, and if this doesn't go through, your dog is still matted or it's still knotty and you need to keep going. But once mats start, you can't brush them out, or at least I would not recommend it. I mean, sometimes you can if you use, like, detangling spray and such, but it's really painful. It's like having a rat nest in your hair and constantly brushing it out. Like, all of this is matted. I'm not brushing this out. This is already a young dog, and it's hyper, and she'll probably just get really upset with me and get really nippy, and then I'm going to ruin the trust that I built with her. She knows that I wouldn't hurt her, but if I try and brush all this out, it's going to hurt. And brushing all this out is not something that happens quickly. I mean, brushing this dog out, trying to brush these mats out, which isn't even a guarantee I could get them out, I would probably be brushing this dog out with how wiggly she, wiggly she is, if I count that, probably like two or three hours it would take me to brush her out. I'm not going to do that to a dog. So all of this, I have to shave off. I'm not saying it to be mean. I'm not saying it because I don't want to give your dog a cute haircut. I'm saying it because that's what's in the best interest of your dog is it's matted. I'm not going to brush this out. I'm going to shave it down. And I have some clients where they want to keep them long, but it just doesn't work. You know, they try, but it's a lot to keep up with, especially if you have a puppy. So the best bet is just to keep them short and maybe not shaved, but short because then their coat is just easier to maintain. So I get a lot of cases in where people swear they're brushing their dogs every day and you probably are brushing them every day, but you're not getting all the way down to the skin. And another thing that you can do is right now, like it's kind of hard to do this one hand, but up here isn't too bad. Like I can peel the skin or the peel the skin. I can peel the hair back and I can see the skin in some spots. Like that's the pink skin showing through. I can't do that over here. Like I can't. I can't peel the hair back and see the skin. It's all matted. And I have to be able to get one of these, one of these blades to fit between the skin and the hair to get it off. So the tighter the mats are, the shorter I have to go. I also have had people come in lately where it's summertime, the dogs are going outside, they're getting muddy and whatnot. So they'll bathe them at home, which is fine, but... When you bathe them and they have mats, when the mats dry, they get tighter. So if your dog has any spots on them that look like this and you decide to bathe them, all of this gets tighter. And then I have to go shorter just to get them off. Um, I would never recommend bathing a dog like a doodle like this. I would never recommend bathing them and letting them air dry because then they get kinky and knotty and then you have to worry about mats. I highly suggest everybody for dogs who have a coat where they need a haircut, not like a lab so much or like um, a pity or a boxer 
or a great day. Nothing short coat like that. Dogs that need haircuts should really be getting groomed every six to eight weeks. Even if your dog is short like this, if your dog is short like this and you're like, oh no, they don't need a haircut, we're fine. I guarantee you, your dog's nails still need to be cut because they should be cut on a monthly basis. I guarantee you that just because it's short back here, they probably have a poofy head and a poofy tail and that still needs to be maintained. They come in, I bathe them, but I rebrush them out and I make sure these mats don't happen. The mats are painful. If dogs get mats on their ears, I don't think he's got them, really. Or she's got them. No, her ears are okay. When they get mats, depending on how tight they get, it can actually cut off blood circulation. And it can damage the skin. It can cause bruising. It can cause hematomas. Hematomas, like a lot of the times when the tips of the ears get matted, and it cuts off the blood circulation. And then when I take the mat off, all the blood rushes back to the tip of the ear. And the blood sits there, but it feels weird to them. It's like tingly. So they shake their heads a lot and their tips of their ears are filled with blood. They keep shaking their heads. So the tips of their ears will actually start to bleed. If you ever see that or have seen that from another groomer and your dog had mats on the ears, it's more than likely not due to the groomer injuring the dog. More than likely your dog had mats on the ears and it caused hematomas taking them off. So I highly recommend to definitely get your dog groomed every six to eight weeks. And if you still feel like we're running into this issue every six to eight weeks, then if you're struggling to keep up with us at home, then maybe you need to bring your dog in every four weeks. I mean, I know it sucks, but I charge cheaper for baths. Your dog will still get a bath. It'll still get its nails clipped and its ears clean. And I'll brush the whole dog out to keep this from happening. If you need help or anything, you can ask me. But if you're struggling like this, then maybe, you know, we need to stay shorter or maybe you need to get your dog groomed more often. It just depends on your situation. But I've been having this issue a lot lately, so I just want to point out to everybody that this is matting. And I don't ever want to shave your dog. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. And sometimes when they have a lot of hair like this and then you take them short, it's even kind of a shock to the dog that they get uncomfortable or like when it's cold outside, you might find them on your blankets a lot because they're used to having a coat and now they don't have it. So I would highly recommend, um, say this is all the matting that I'm shaving off right now. That's what all this is. And then this was his tail. This is all one big, it's all one big mat. So if you have issues, just ask me. I don't mind. You can always shoot me a message on Facebook. And I actually, no matter what time it is, I usually answer you pretty quickly. Um, if you're having this issue, let's talk about maybe getting your dog groomed more often. Or let's try a different haircut. Or let's try putting the sessions closer together. Let's just talk and see if we can figure out a way to keep this from happening. Because it's really hard on the dogs. And when I got to shave this off, sometimes I have to be able to pull the mats from the skin a little bit to be able to get my blade in here. And then it hurts. And then the dog gets upset with me and it damages my relationship with your dog, which, you know, I'm in this for that. Um, I just want to point that out to everybody. If you have any questions or issues or anything, give me a call, shoot me a message and we'll figure it out. I hope everybody has a nice day. I'm here. If you need anything, give me a call at the shop. Bye.